All right, guys, um, today we're going to talk a little bit about snell knots again or clinch knots. And with us fishing so much these days with circle loops, we're always looking at different knots and different ways to tie our mono and our steel traces to our circle loops. So I've been playing around with a whole bunch of different knots, and there's one knot in particular which I've been uh, fishing with and using which I found very interesting and very strong which I thought I'll share with you guys um, It's not a new knot. It's a knot that's been around for many many years But it works well and I think when it comes to nylon especially Sometimes it's very difficult to do a nice clinch knot over your hook So I'm gonna show you this knot you might know it or for the guys who don't know it Maybe you can learn it and do it. It's a strong knot It's not that type of knot that just flares off the hook um, like a lot of other clinch knots or snell knots after you've done this knot, it actually sits to the hook, it can't flare out, it keeps its shape, and that's exactly what I like about this knot. So it's, just, uh, it's quite an easy knot to make, it's a strong knot, and it looks very good. All right, so one important thing about this specific knot is that it's um, not actually meant for your nylon coated or carbon coated traces. I'd say this knot is more for your fluorocarbon and your nylon traces. Um, that's what I use it for. I've got my normal clinch knot, the old one that um, we always show you guys, that works very well on a nylon and carbon coated traces. So this one is more specifically for fluorocarbon traces and nylon traces. All right, so, so the first and the most important, most probably about this knot, is that before you start anything, you've got to determine the length of your trace before you start a knot. All right, because you can't do it with the nylon still attached to your spool. So that's sort of my normal length of my trace. And I'm just going to cut it off there. Alright guys, so let's do this knot. Alright, so to start off with, our one tag end over the hook like this, not through the eye of the hook, just place on top of the hook and with your forefinger and your thumb, you pinch the hook and the nylon together right there at the eye of the hook. Make a big loop, catch that loop as well. All right, so we've got the one tag in showing that way, the other tag in showing the other direction. We're gonna use a loop and wrap it around the shank of the hook, running down towards the tip of the hook for five six times and like I said hold everything nice and firmly I've got the wrap there and now it's just a very simple process of lubricating that line a little bit and putting this tag in through so without letting anything go I pull that tag in slowly I don't want to burn my nylon or my fluorocarbon and the loop will cut through your finger and everything will fall in place nicely There we've got it. So this is a nice neat knot and what you can do is you can just sort of hold the one end, take your pliers and just pull everything nice and tight and then put the end of our trace or your nylon through the eye book because we haven't done that yet and cut off the tag end. with a sharpie of pliers. And there's our knot. Okay, so as you can see, it's a beautiful little knot. Quite simple to do. And the part that's very important about this knot is the fact that it can't just bounce off like a lot of the other clinch knots do after you've made them and let go, everything just sort of flares up and bounce off. This one is solid, can't go anywhere. And it's a very strong knot. And because it's a clinch knot and not, not a knot where there's many loops in your nylon, it's very unlikely that this knot will burn off or break off. Right, so I hope that helped you guys out there. People are always looking for a new way of doing these clinch knots. This one for me is very nice. Go practice and see if it works for you.